first thing we're gonna go over today is the two-on-one tie position to a high single. Um, also called the Russian tie, two-on-one tie. It's a really common uh, control position in wrestling. And first of all, I'm just gonna kinda get in of the easiest ways to get into this tie up. There's, there's plenty of different ways to do it, but I'm just gonna go over one right now, very simple. I'm a right-handed wrestler, I lead with my right foot. Typically, the easiest way for me to get a two-on-one is if my partner reaches to my right shoulder. I'm just gonna take my opposite side hand, I'm gonna go thumb down, right at his wrist, right at this little bony spot on the wrist here, and I'm actually gonna pull his wrist down in front of me. All right, I'm not gonna try to duck my body under his wrist, I'm gonna pull it down and I'm gonna move my feet to try to create an angle here where I'm gonna try to create a 90 degree angle or an L with his feet and my feet. So I'm here, I move my feet towards him. Now, from this position here, this is part of the tie-up. I got my feet to the position I want him, I've created an angle. My top hand or my right hand as a right-handed wrestler is gonna go in the armpit right to the ball of his shoulder and I'm gonna pull that tight to my chest. All right, I know I wanna teach this sometimes to younger wrestlers. They wanna have it out here with a lot of space. It's really hard to control somebody from here. Another thing I'll sometimes see, another common mistake with somebody first trying this is they leave their thumb out and they're trying to hold on here like this. It's really, really hard to get a really tight control with that thumb out. So again, this hand's gonna cup my all five fingers together, ball of his shoulder, nice and tight to my chest, and this space shouldn't really change. And then with my head, I'm trying to get my head in the side of his head here, and now I'm controlling this position. All right, now from here, I just like to tell people to kind of try to move around a little bit, kind of get used to feeling, being in this position where my knees are bent, I'm not standing up straight, there's no space, I'm controlling his wrist. And um, one kind of thing that goes along with that is when I'm controlling the wrist here, um, I know you learn this one way where both palms are facing up at the, at the very basic level. Um, but when you get to the higher levels, there's a lot of things you can do by switching this hand on the wrist. So I'm not gonna tell you to stick with one or the other. The more important hand is this top hand and keeping this tight. All right, so one more time from this side, just seeing how I'm getting that wrist. Pose, I'm coming right to that, that little gap between the bone of the wrist and the hand, pulling this down and moving my feet towards his feet, creating this angle. My knees are bent, got this uh, ball of his shoulder tight to my chest, and my head is right inside his head here, and I can move him around. All right, so. That's just getting into our two-on-one and a little bit about the positioning, but now we're gonna get into a high single. All right, single leg is a very common move, um, and this really sets us up nicely to be able to get to that. So, I get the post here, opposite side hand, again, coming to his wrist. I'm not lifting it up over my head, I'm bringing it down and bringing my feet to him here. Now, again, everything's nice and tight, and the way that this move's gonna work is if my opponent's not squaring up with me. What I mean by that is if, if he's squaring up, he's gonna be trying to face me which is very common. Remember how I said, when I have this, I wanna stay nice and tight, and I wanna have this angle, where I have like an L shape here. His goal is to not, not want that to happen. He wants to square up like he just did. So a lot of times we're getting this battle where I'm kinda of chasing him here, um, trying to keep that angle. And this first move, the single, we're gonna say that he's not trying to square up with us really hard, all right? You're gonna get guys that feel comfortable in here, and they're not gonna really adjust their feet. They'll stand here and they'll let you kinda of stay close. All right, so while keeping everything nice and tight here with this two-on-one, I'm gonna step with my back leg or my leg that's closest to him, I guess, here, which would be my right leg as a right-handed wrestler. I'm gonna step between his feet, and I want my knee to go behind his knee as I squat down here. Now, notice I let go of the two-on-one. Um, typically, I'm gonna hold on to that, but just for uh, example's sake here, if I start to pressure in, his leg starts to come up, makes things a lot easier for me. I don't wanna do extra work that I don't have to. So making sure when I'm stepping between his legs here, I'm squatting down nice and low and I'm getting my knee behind him to a point that I can block. And then I'm using this top hand to extend him. Notice how this leg just comes right up to me. And then we can get up here to our feet where we could look to finish eventually. Now, just when I get to my feet, just one thing here I like to mention, this is nice and tight, all right? There's no space here. I don't wanna be holding onto his leg like this or he could turn and kick away and I'm just gonna lose that. Now it's not, not solid defense, but if I'm giving it to him here, he's gonna be able to kick out if I'm leaving space. So keeping this nice and tight, I call this armpit deep, we're just not leaving any space. If he were to try to turn and kick right now, I could follow him down and get my takedown. We'll get into that in a little bit. But one more time here on the single from this other angle, I get my two on one. Notice my feet, he's not squaring up with me, so I gotta have a good partner. I step and squat low. Driving off this back leg, his weight starts to shift. As his weight starts to shift and my leg gets straight here, I extend that arm out and bring myself the rest of the way up to my feet. All right, so that's just basically our positioning on the two-on-one basic positioning into our high single.